Hey guys and girls, it's Zach from Switch Force, and I wanted to talk to you for a quick minute before we start the epic Star Tier Tools plus How to Repair Tools guide video. It has been a wonderful week because Animal Crossing is absolutely amazing, and it's selling like bananas, which is fantastic. But it's also been a really tough week. It's been a really weird, chaotic, crazy time, unlike anything we've ever experienced, and probably unlike anything we could have possibly predicted. And it looks like it's going to stay this way for some time. So I wanted to tell you about a project that I've started up. A place where we can all hang out and positively enjoy the awesomeness that is Switch and each other. It's called Switch Strong, and it's a new Discord server that's open now, and I encourage all of you to join. There's a link in the description below, but let me tell you what it's about. I know this has been tough for everyone. It's been really weird and tough for me. My anxiety and OCD have peaked. I've been worried about my family and friends, and I like just kind of escaping into comfort and camaraderie during my days. So Switch Strong is an awesome place where you'll be able to interact with Switch Force, ask me questions, hang out, talk about videos, and find out what's coming. It's also a great place to talk to each other, interact about Animal Crossing, find out the latest tips, and maybe ask how to get a star fragment, or see if anyone has a spare strawberry hat to share. There will be a spot to set up multiplayer sessions and exchange friend codes if you're looking for some new people to play Smash Bros or Mario Kart, or even more Animal Crossing with. And we're gonna be doing weekly Switch game giveaways to help those people out that need something new to play and take their mind off the current situation. We're also gonna be doing regular donations where I'll be donating my personal money to organizations and charities in need, and I encourage you guys to join in on that as well. But all in all, Switch Strong is a positive, happy, supportive place where you can talk about the awesomeness that is Switch. The upcoming games, eShop recommendations, the current Animal Crossing craze, and like I said, I'll be there interacting with all of you as well. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, there's a link in the description below. We're looking to build a community of cool people who want to get through all of this together positively and while playing our Switch. Plus, everyone that signs up this week will be entered to win a copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I know a lot of you have it. I've read the comments. I see you trying to kick out villagers or build the best tools or upgrade your house. So if you have Animal Crossing and you happen to win, I'll make sure you get whatever game you want. And we'll be doing other giveaways along the way, as I mentioned. Now, it's important that you know this is a positive, happy, supportive, safe space. So no negativity or nastiness will be tolerated. So let's stay safe and stay home. Let's stay playing Animal Crossing. And let's stay Switch Strong together. You all know about better tools. You know about the DIY recipes that help you get the tools that break less often. But I have found today a new tier of tool that I didn't know existed. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Let me know what you think of these new tools in the comments down below. And if you're gunning for gold tools, I'm right there with you. In the meantime, let's check out what we got. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and are excited to see the star net. We've got a star tier tool as well as colorful tier tools that show up at Nook's Cranny once the store has been upgraded. Now it's not 100% known how you upgrade the store officially but it seems to be after about 28 to 30 days they offer to upgrade and expand nooks cranny and then the store gets bigger and better and holds bolder tools we're talking outdoorsy tools colorful tools and star tools three different types of tools that buck the trend of the traditional flimsy regular and coveted gold tier so i'm going to show you guys the star net first because it's my absolute favorite and based on what i found out these don't do anything different. They are just aesthetically different, but I love the aesthetics of them. Now, I'm sure someone will go through and test the durability of each of these tools. And don't worry, we're talking about how to repair tools and completely fix their durability a little later on in the video. But as of right now, they're just a really cool way to have a different set of gear. Everybody you see has the axe. Everybody you see has the watering can. What if you could get something a little bit more exciting for your bug hunting romps, for your fishing expeditions, and for your slingshot party? So the star net can be customized to other colors as well, which is quite wonderful. I really like the red net, and that's what I'm going to be rocking. I'm curious if there are star tier tools for every type of tool, or if it's just the net. I have yet to see a colorful net and I've yet to see a star fishing rod so I'm wondering if colorful and star are in the same tier and then how outdoorsy factors in or if they're all just appearance 
based tiers that do not have anything different in terms of durability uh, or in terms of performance. Now, the Starnet, like I said, I don't notice anything different. If you guys have found anything out, please let me know in the comments down below. We're all just kind of in the explorative phase right now. Here is the colorful shovel, another thing that you can grab from Nook's Cranny. And as far as I can tell, these are not things that are acquirable via recipe. They need to be purchased in the upgraded Nook's Cranny store. Now, thankfully, if you're wondering how to upgrade Nook's Cranny, as I mentioned, there is a time requirement, which can be achieved by waiting patiently or time traveling if you're into that sort of thing. But there is not any requirement in terms of more iron nuggets, gold nuggets, wood, or anything like that. So the exorbitant amount of materials that they want to build Nook's Cranny initially, you're lucky, guys and girls. You don't have to reacquire any materials for the expansion, but you will be able to grab things like the colorful shovel that can be customized into really fun looks. And I think these are going to be great once you get to take around to further customize your character. Everyone right now is looking for ways to make their island their own, for ways to make their villager their own. Obviously, there are all sorts of clothing options. There are creative animated wallpapers that are popping up and looking wonderful. There's aesthetic choices and furniture placement. Well, now there's also different things like the colorful fishing rod, which has a awesome ducky bait on the end. So instead of placing out just your normal little bauble, you're throwing out a rubber ducky and it looks so cute. Again, I have found no actual difference in performance for this. I thought I may have with the fishing rod in particular because my first fish that I caught with the colorful fishing rod was in fact a little Nemo clownfish, but I think that was just luck because the very next fish that I caught ended up being a dab, which is about as boring and drab as it possibly can be. So for right now, these different tools uh, in the star tier and in the colorful tier and even the outdoorsy tier, I think are just different options for you to enjoy. Now, as you take a look at the colorful slingshot and its outdoorsy variant, which note doesn't just have a different color scheme, but totally different material and make of the tool as well, which is pretty freaking sweet. Let's talk repairing tools. Is it even possible to repair your tools before they break and reset their durability? Well, I'm sure you all have encountered the early game problem where your flimsy tier of tools, they break and they break pretty often. And yes, once you upgrade to regular tools, they have a little bit more sturdiness, but even if you one day reach the golden tier, my friends, those can still break. I'm currently tracking down the golden axe, which requires you to break a hundred axes. Man, they want to know you're committed to being a mining monster before they grant you a gift. So beautiful. But even those can break, so wouldn't it be helpful to have a way to reset the durability on your tools? I want to give a shout out to protodrop.net, which is where I first heard about this technique. And there's actually multiple techniques. So I went ahead and made some flimsy tools to show you exactly how this happens. Now, numbers have been discovered for how long it takes to break an axe. And I tested these numbers out for myself. It's about 37 to 40 swipes before your axe goes pop and you no longer have it. But what if you take that axe all the way to its breaking point, maybe 36 swings, and then you go and upgrade the axe? Now, anytime you upgrade a tool, it will reset its durability because the game is seeing this upgraded tool as a brand new tool. So you'll notice I go over the tree. I should only have a couple swings left if the original durability was still in play, but it's not. I can whack this thing to my heart's content and it will not break until it reaches the higher threshold for the stone axe, which is around 100 hits. Now, I tried the exact same thing out with a shovel, which takes about 40 or so digs to break, and it has to be against rocks. If you dig the ground, that's not going to hurt its durability. So I tested out the numbers, and they do work. It's about 40 smashes against a rock. I did it twice to ensure. And then I took this flimsy shovel to its breaking point and decided to upgrade to a regular shovel. And what do you know? Again, it completely resets the durability. And now you can go for around 100 digs because you've got a fresh start with the shovel. So upgrades are a way to repair, but there's an even better way to repair that doesn't cost resources whatsoever. This is the way you're going to want to repair your tools. Now, it won't work with the axe because the axe can't be customized, which is unfortunate, but it will work with other stuff such as the fishing rod, such as the net, and such as the shovel because those you can go in and with a customization kit, you are able 
to change the color and by making it a different color, the game once again recognizes said tool as a brand new tool and will reset the durability. So as long as you have a customization kit, boom, you've got a brand new tool and you don't need to repair. And this works on the flimsy variant and the regular variant. So you can take that shovel that has 100 hits and now reset those 100 hits with a little color customization and you can take that net that gets 30 bugs or so and reset that with color customization you can wait till you get all the way to like 98 hits or 29 bugs and then reset it spending a few bells or utilizing a customization kit and away you go it's a really nifty method and one that i am loving because it saves you from having to spend resources and time on recreating tools and unless you're going to get gold tier of everything which will take so much time because for the gold the gold tier net and the gold tier fishing rod you gotta get every critter in the critterpedia every bug and every fish in order to make that work it's just so much easier to go and change the color of the fishing rod and voila you got 30 fish again for the fishing rod it just makes so much more sense to swap out the look of the net instead of build a new flimsy net and build another new net and need the resources for that. It just saves a ton of time and I'm so glad that I figured this out and hopefully you guys are as well. Let me know what you think of the star tier colorful tier tools and the new repair tricks that we've discussed today. I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know your take in the comments down below. If you've discovered anything further, deeper, or different than I have, I'd love to hear about it. Obviously, everything is still in flux. We're figuring this game out, so let's share in the enjoyment and the discovery together. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. I appreciate all of you so much. I've loved the first week of the game, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your take in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from Animal Crossing and, of course, the Switch. If Nintendo ever decides to announce anything else, I definitely got you covered. I'll tell you about it as soon as it happens. Turn that notification bell on, and you'll be one of the first to know. Until then, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic freaking day. Be good to yourself and others out there. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Switch Force, out.